Evening all, and welcome back to Factory Town. So, last episode we managed to get this wonderful logic system working here that uh, actually sort of works. Um, it sends empty carts down a line to pick up whatever it is down that line, and then um, make sure the line is closed so no one else brings it down. And uh, also we have sensors here to make sure the barns don't get over full, so everything is awesome. But I need to expand this, I need to make it bigger because it's not exactly going to work the way I need to. I also need to move it, which is going to be awkward. Uh, I want to put it here, um, get rid of these palms here, and put it the line here. So that way we've got, because this will all be removed and moved somewhere else, and then down here we'll have different things. So I think down here we'll have the pastures. And then um, we have the animal feed from the pastures coming down here and then going off places. The pastures are going to be a complicated one because they're going to require many different uh, inputs. Now, well, well, not many different inputs. Inputs are easy. Water and animal feed. But outputs, um, there are um, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 outputs in total because there are 7 different things and fertilizer so not the fertilizer actually needs to come out that that could be just left because that's not important um the fertilizer can go off and do whatever uh it doesn't get used if that makes any sense it doesn't um oh what am i trying to say it doesn't block up if fertilizer is full it doesn't block up the usage so yeah um right so um in that case, we need to start doing this and moving things over and sorting stuff out and it's going to cause us some problems because of this here. Although, I could also expand the bakeries, but then the bakeries will require other things as well. What I do want to actually do is, uh, is adjust this, adjust this here. Um, I want to uh, let that train go away and uh, then I'm going to put in a barn so let's remove all of that Zoom. There we go. and then we want to put in a barn um, yeah I think we'll do just the one gap that'll be fine and this barn is going to be exclusively for bread okay. That gives us a bit of a buffer, so if something happens and this all slows down, we can have a buffer of bread to do things. Also, bread is used in other recipes, so I know I could put this as doing multiple recipes, but I'm not sure whether that's a good idea or not. Um, simply because of the way some things are, I think it might... I mean, there are some where you can double up recipes, but I think for the majority, we're going to have like one kitchen for each thing. Although some will lead to other things, like vegetable stew. I mean, we, we could do that right now. Vegetable stew would be very, very easy because we can do um, uh, farms with all the different vegetables in them. I would have to cheat them in because I don't have them naturally in the map. And uh, then we could have them come out and deliver to uh, different barns here. That one's going to be interesting to try and deal with. The vegetable shoot. Because uh, it's going to be a case of. Having three different inputs come in. Uh, I'm not really sure. Oh, oh come on. Drag out. Thank you. Oh. Um. I do also need to adjust this as well because um, I don't really want one line going down here because we're going to have multiple kitchens doing multiple different versions of food. I don't really want one cart coming down and grabbing whatever food. We're going to have to have multiple carts for each one, so... 
might have to extend this rail all the way down and around and uh, have multiple things coming off of it not ideal and unless I extend that down all the way around here that would be a little odd um We'll figure that out when we come to it. Yeah, we'll figure that out when we come to it. I think for now I'm just going to leave it as it is. We've only got one item down here, so um, it doesn't particularly matter. Uh, so, to go that way. And I want to go that way. To make that connect. And it's not going to work. Uh, that way. Is that right? Yes, there's no track going there, so right there will come down, go around, come back in. Then uh, the rail stop. Um, there. Okay, right. So that should carry on working absolutely fine. No problem, no issues. Um, what I may actually do is because this will be food I could have a food line that connects onto this one here and then have a sensor on the bar here going when this is full of any type of food all the way down for food um, it's gonna come out but then I don't know whether that actually works because you might drop off more than uh, sorry we will drop off different types of food so we'll have like 10 of one 10 of another 10 of that and that won't equal the right amount so mm, gonna have to look into that one gonna have to try and look into one i think what i want to do is the sandwich thing still i think that's that's something i want to do i want to try and uh, maybe rather than just sending bread over there, I might just change it up to just go. Um, we will use the bread internally, and then we will bring over um, cheese and chicken. And uh, yeah, yeah, I think I think I'll probably do that. I'll probably change this one into being um, bread and sandwich, and tell it to only output sandwiches. So I'll turn that on now. Not that we can do any of that because no. And then I'll tell that to output and that, that will become sandwiches instead. So that that's three inputs to one place. Um Yeah. Right. So, so in order to do that, we are going to require more things. Um ooh, ah ah. One thing we are gonna need to do is put in another rail stop there for the coal. Because it looks as if our coal demand, yep, we have an actual coal demand, so. And this here seems to be spacing them out just nicely. By the looks of it. Uh, turn you round. Turn you round that way. So they all, they all gather up. And that did not work. Okay. I think that space is enough for this here to go through. Yeah, we'll figure it out. But I do need to move this. I need to empty that barn, move this. That will all be done very soon. So, um, shall we tear this down? Shall, shall this be done? It's going to affect our happiness, but I am not concerned about that for the moment. Okay, so there we go. Let's just dig in and do it. Rid of it all. But, um, um, we'll even get rid of those. That's and uh, right, we'll get rid of those and get rid of that one. I can leave that barn there for the moment. Right, these can go. And if I Get rid of that rail over there. 
all the trains will come and stop. This is exactly what I want. So I can remove them. Unfortunately, I can't move these trains anymore. You can't click on them and drag them. Can't move them elsewhere. So yeah, we're gonna have to just remove the trains. Get the move tool active then, that wouldn't work. Right, move that, that, move rail. Okay. And uh, in fact, all these can go as well, they're not needed. You can go, you can go, you can go. Uh, I'll leave that bridge there for the minute just because I like it, basically. Uh, I'm going to leave this farm down here just for the minute doing bits and pieces. It is currently producing bread and remedies, which are... Yep, yeah, the remedies are getting dropped off. So that's still helping a little bit. All right, so let's get rid of those. This is going to very quickly run out of fertilizer. The right, uh, get rid of those and those and those. So I think this is all done. You've got loads of cloth inside you. I could do with moving that cloth somewhere else. Don't really know where at the moment, but um. Definitely do with moving it somewhere else. And also we have wood here that's um I think I might build a forest over here and uh, have wood just go directly into the base. Might make sense. Right, so um the pastures need to go down on the water. But the question is where are we gonna the water I don't necessarily have to run them on the coast I could put them further up here um, I am very tempted to do that in fact let's remove all of these go for a bigger brush tool and uh, what I'm gonna do is build a river canal thing Uh, we will expand this. I also want to look at where I'm going to run the train line because I want to make sure I'm leaving enough space for things. Because each pasture is going to pretty much have to have its own train. I'm, think, I'm thinking of changing it so that that's the line that comes down and then it can turn off onto these two barns as and when required. Um, I'm not sure about that. We have a train blockage. How did that happen? Did two trains manage to get down there at once? Did something else go wrong? Oh wow, all three trains went up there at once. Wow. Okay. I am wondering whether these timers do need to be a little bit short. I'm going to drop them down to uh, 0.5 again. And uh, in fact, I'm going to change all of them to 0.5. Uh, oh, no, 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 don't do that. Uh, just to speed it up. This, this one is also bugging me a little bit um, because it's on the wrong side. 
every other one the timer is on the um the, the left when you look at it from the, the bottom but that one i put it on the right but um i'm gonna live with that for a minute Timer block as well. Why do you have a timer block? Um, put it down there. I don't actually think that needs a timer block. That could just instantly toggle that one there. When that goes over it. Because there's no reason for that. In fact, this is going to change anyway, so I'm not fuss. I'll figure that one out later. Um, we'll probably add another system in there, but I think that 1.5 is enough. Okay, you use up that. Yeah, I think with that splitter, the 1.5 is enough to toggle that there and then when they're coming back they're not being bounced backwards because so, that was happening here they, they were being bounced back for some reason i put this on 0.5 i think on here oh no it doesn't trigger all oh, right okay yeah so it's um yeah okay so that appears to be working right <clears throat> okay so I want to build a river here. So let's uh, flatten the terrain back down. You want to do that there, uh, down there, which you want me to do. And I want to run a river here. So I'm thinking, if I do that. That's going to stop there because I can't obviously. Uh, you're out of fertilizer, which means those um, those kitchens have both now stopped working. Um, can't really get them going again anytime soon. So you're gonna have to just wait. Okay. Um. I want it to be quite deep. I want it to be sort of the the water deep. That's a really, really, really deep canal all the way along. And uh, then I need to obviously remove this and uh, run that down. I'm not actually sure I want it to be deep now. Is that three deep? The surface, so one. Ooh. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm being perfectionist for no reason there. It doesn't matter. Right. Come back. And uh, then I think I want it to go this away and that away. And then all our pastures can be along this river. Along here. And uh, we can move all this later. And then the where the uh, the road comes down and goes over the top of it and carries on. Uh doesn't actually go anywhere because that's not gonna matter because the road over here, but I just want to leave the road there because I basically forgot I was moving the town for a moment there. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, so get rid of that tree. Please, if you don't mind. Ah, nope, right, so, remove the tree, and then lower that down, there we go, right, okie dokie, and then we'll build the, um, stone bridge, not use walls at all, um, in this game, for no real reason, to be honest with you, just uh, haven't. There we go. We've got a funky bridge going over the top of it. Right. 
Okay, that's a barn with loads of corn in it. Right, so, so let's pause this, shall we, and extend this rail track. Are you empty yet? You've got one coal in you. I can deal with losing that. That's fine. Right. So, pause. And, in fact, I probably want to get all my trains off of this track, don't I? So let's, uh... Do that. Okay, and then all the trains will carry on straight. Uh, then I haven't got to worry about them. Disappearing on me. Okay, so... If I want to move this to be along here... Um, how much space do I need for the pastures? I want a pasture. The output to a barn. But I also need to input. Animal feed. So, how do I do with inputs and output? Can't really have I could have multiple barns here with animal feed them and have the animal feed move down and then the barns feed um, if I for instance went with a um, pasture say uh, on, on the end so um, there um, and then one there one there and then another one over there, five away. And then I put a barn in between them. Like that, like that. With animal feed. And then had the animal feed going into that one and that one. I have trains come along and go down into the barns. And the pastures output to the barns here and trains grab from those as well. Which means the loop would have to be... Um, that's the closest I could put a barn. Like that. that, that. The loop would have to be... Um, well, I need one, two, three, four. I need a four gap minimum to have that. I could make it smaller. That is possible to make this loop smaller, but I'd rather give myself a bit more space than required. So if I have a loop in front of that one there, then that, and then the main track can go there. Okay. Okay. That's where the main track's going. Well done. Run the track along there. And uh, there. Up there. Right. Okay. And then this is where the other main track's coming down. And uh, they're going to loop on to somewhere else. So, how many pastures do we actually need? This is the question. How many do we need? How many recipes do we have? We have, and I've counted this, yeah, not 10 minutes ago and forgotten. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We don't need a fertiliser one, so 6. So we need 6 pastures. To cover all bases. Okay, so 2, 4, 6. And go over here. How are we looking for logs? Would we have 4,000? We're good for that. So, I'm going to remove that. For, I'm, I'm going to copy that forest to somewhere else first. Um, over here. Um, not that he's going to do anything. It's going to actually be disabled. I'm not going to do anything with the forester. The reason I'm doing that is because I noticed it before. If you remove a building and it's the last one of the building you have, sometimes you lose build options. Uh, for instance, the stonemason. If you remove the stonemason and don't have any stonemasons, you can't build roads. They just disappear from your build menus until you build a stonemason. So, yeah, that's just something to keep in mind. So, I've made a copy of the forester. We now have a forester there. Don't know if the forester unlocks anything in particular, but just in case. 
we can narrow that. This here. Yada yada yada. I would like to set that up. Ooh. I could set up the forester using logic blocks to say, always keep me a thousand wood. So if we ever drop below a thousand wood, um, the forester would be re enabled. That sounds like a bit of a plan. I might put a forest in. Yeah, put a forester down and then surround it by trees. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think we might do that at a later date. Um, have all these lumber mills doing bits and pieces. Uh, you've got loads of stuff. You've not been working on anything for a long, long time, have you? No, you haven't. Um, let's research some mana transmission. Because that doesn't actually require any inputs. Other than just uh, some bits and pieces for the... Um, uh, wait. What are you doing? Where are you going? You have decided to drop the map. That's really helpful. Thank, thank, thank you for that. That is exactly what I needed. How did you? How? How? How did you know? How did you know I wanted you to do that? That's that's just so fantastic. Thank you so so much. Um, maybe able to sense the sarcasm there. Uh, why aren't you producing paper? You are producing paper. Okay, you're producing stuff, and you're doing things. Okay, that's working. Uh, we also have a really big supply of cloth, which I kind of want to keep, but I don't know what to do with. Um, we've got plenty of conveyor belts. Not worried about that. Rails we're good for. I think I just might have to build some barn somewhere and move the cloth. Um, so we'll put down um, put down two barns, one there, one there, and we'll get you taking cloth to that barn, and we will get you taking cloth to that barn. And uh, I've just realised that they can do that from the centre barn. Take cloth to that barn. Stop. Take cloth to that barn. Okay. There we go. Right. Now just empty that out and it will use up whatever wool we've got left. Loads of wool. Um, that one's empty. That one's empty. That one's empty. That one's empty. Move those. I could probably shut down this entire railway line. Uh, that crate does actually have stuff in it at the moment. Because of that, you run out of logs. So this whole thing is going to grind to a halt now. Which is okay. Which is fine. Um, I'm going to kind of keep the trees. And bump. Bump. Remove. There. Um, I know I've deleted trees elsewhere. But um, I'm thinking I want to keep the trees. Um, I might just fill up some areas with trees at some point. I know I've cleared out big areas of stuff, but um they they look good. Let's let's filter a bit out here, shall we? I don't want the stone. Not as nice looking as I think. And uh I'm going to have to clear out some area there and some area there. And a barn and another barn. Okay, so there's my six. One, two, three, four. Uh oh Mistakes were made. Boom. There. Boom. And there we go. And we need to go a bit further, so you can get removed. Um, you've got loads of wood in that I don't particularly want to remove. All the same. And 
We don't have to. There we go. Okay. And uh, you can go as well. Leather in you, but no paper. Paper is something we'll have to... Pa paper's only really required for the school, so that could be an independent little thing. Not fussed about that. Uh, doesn't mean our line's going to come all the way down here. Uh, so we've got a little bit of mana transmission done. Um, you don't want to waste that leather. Anyway, I can build another barn somewhere. Um, there. And tell you to take leather into the barn. Take leather into that barn. No. No, can't get the leather out once it's gone in there. That is a real shame. Okay, um right in that case, drop leather. And then you can grab the leather from Uh, well, there's one in the workshop and one in the crate there, so uh, that means we can't take the cloth out of this workshop either. That's annoying, to be honest with you, but hey-ho. Um, right. So I'm going to copy the schoolhouse and put that somewhere else as well, because we don't have another schoolhouse. I don't know if you lose the research. Um... Man transmission is still on 32, right? I'm not sure if you remove the last warehouse schoolhouse you would actually lose it. I don't know how that works. Um here's an interesting idea. What if I filter that to leather? Leather. No. I'll grab leather. No, can't get the leather out of the building once it's been put in there. I turn off the recipe. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, so if you turn off the recipe, they act like just a little storage place. That's that's quite useful to know. Right, and then I can just hold the the move key and uh, I can just pick it all up and put it all in the uh, the main. Um, uh, what's that called? Base. That's the one. Put in the base. Wow. Uh, so, I'm going to do the same here. If I do that, then turn off your recipe. The little thing I did not know. I did not know that, um, did that. I didn't know that if you turn the recipe off, they just, workshops basically become storage. Which is actually quite useful, to be honest with you. Uh, right, so, oh well, for this one, what I actually want to do, I suppose, is that. Because, um, that barn is the one where all the, the stuff's going. And, uh, we're going to fill up with these two barns quite soon, aren't we, I think? Hmm. Anyway, um, so. We need another barn there and that is all good now I am gonna turn these pastures round I think because I don't want them outputting automatically yeah so let's uh With the move tool selected, you have to click select one, then press R to do it. Because if you select a unit when you don't have the move tool selected, press R, you bring up the recipes. So, okay. right. And uh, then we want a conveyor and a conveyor. Conveyor, 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 conveyor. Okay. Dum, dum. And grabber, grabber, grabber. 
filter these to be animal feed only. Don't see anything else coming down the line anyway, but just in case, and then so I want to move around. There we go. Right. And then we want to do a loop. Loop. Remove that rail stop. That barn is going to have to get moved. But we'll deal with that in a moment. Loop there. And then we're going to need loops on all of these. That one. Um, remove the trees just outside of those. And there. there and that along and that could ironically go around um that there <laughs> which is possible yeah i'm not gonna quite do that yet i don't think but yeah so there we go um i also need to fix all these rails to make sure that they can only uh, well they always turn right so we know they always turn right off off of a ramp so that's fine but i need to fix it so that they go around these loops correctly um, and to do that I need to basically uh, you've got to build the loop first so that everything's facing the right way and then you remove the center one with the rail selected you push R for the position tool and just keep pushing R till you go ground to where you want to go so we're going to go uh, to the right and then we want to do that one there which is um, also to the right but coming from a different direction so yeah and uh, you know it's right because you'll see here there's no line across there. There's no line. So that means when the train goes around, it can go, it will turn right. It always turns right. It'll go around here. And if it comes back, it will go down there. It can't go straight on. Whereas here, there is a line. So that could, the train would come onto the wings around around the circles because it can go in a straight line. So, um, I'll replace all of these. Can't do that one yet. Right, okay, so this one here I messed up on because uh, it's removed one first. When you've got the precision tool selected, you can't right click to remove the, uh, the block um, unless it's one of the blocks you've, that matches your precision tool. It recognizes them as different ones there, so that works. So I could remove that one because that's, that's okay, but I can't remove those because they don't match up. So I want to do that and I want to do that. Run it down. And uh, then I want to do that there. And to come out of position tool, you press tab. Press tab to go in or out of it, or just push R to go around it, and uh, yeah. So, there's all the train set up. We just need the logic for it as well. Which is... Not as complicated as it sounds, actually. I don't think it's as complicated and we need on each one of these so one two three four five and six we're gonna have to have this logic which is only 10 empty carts down and uh, do that and then on that one and that one and this one we're gonna have to have um, just send animal feed down unless this side of this barn is full of more than so many then disable that one I think that seems right that seems right doesn't it okay so I'll put 
I'll I'll copy one over so you can um, see. Obviously, you were here when I did it last time, but we'll copy it again over so I remember in my head how it works, and then I'll do the rest of them off camera because I wasn't just repeating myself. Um, so, okie dokie. So just copy and paste, but remembering how it's all set up because it is kind of compact. I could do with spreading it out to make life easier, but so we need a sorter. I'm literally just going to copy it backwards and forwards one at a time. Sorter. Um, we need a toggle block. Um, just to be consistent, I'm going to put it on that side. Uh, we need a timer there, and I've realised I'm not being consistent because this is wrong. So the toggle block should go there, the timer should go there, the toggle block should go there. Right, there we go. Um, and now we need a inv inventory sensor, a math block, and a bool function. So, so we have a sorter, a toggle, a trigger, agent trigger, a timer, an inventory sensor, a math block, and a bool function. Okay. Um, right. So we need to set the agent trigger. Toggles. Let me double check this because I've forgotten already. Um, toggles the timer. So the agent trigger toggles the timer. The timer toggles the toggle. And then the toggle goes to the sorter. And the toggle goes to the ball function. Okay. Does that make sense? Does that work? Yes. Yep. It goes to both. Right. Okay. Uh, the inventory center is set to none. Uh, that's going to go to the math block. The math block becomes a equals zero which means that nothing if nothing passes to it it will toggle true and if something passes with inventory it will toggle false so a minecart that's empty will toggle true and then that will go to the ball function and the ball function will become an and gate which means that every input must be true for it to say yes and that can toggle the sorter Now, let me just go over the reasons behind that. Is um, obviously the uh, this 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 first part here is that when a train goes or a rail cart goes down here, the agent trigger will toggle the timer, will wait 0.5 seconds, change that down, 0.5 seconds, and then we'll turn off the sorter. So only one minecart will come down here at a time. We don't want multiple minecarts coming down because they get stuck. Um, then when it comes out again, the agent trigger will toggle again and it will filter it back around again and uh, will allow this to be turned on. So the minecart gets out and the next one comes along go down. But the inventory sensor will detect what's in the cart. If the cart is empty, it will say, um, it, it will detect, this math block will detect that yes, it is empty. So toggle the ball function. The ball function will ask whether this toggle is active and um, whether the input from the math block and the input from the toggle is true. And if it is, it will then turn the sorter on. That way, when we got an empty cart coming down here, if it hits the inventory sensor and the cart's already down here, so this is turned off, it won't toggle it on and send another cart down. It will always have to wait for the cart to come back out. And that should work. He says, not very confidently, but here's to hoping. So let's give it a try, shall we? Let's give it a try. I'm going to copy the rail cart, put that there. Okay. And um, I'm also going to delete uh, that bit of track there just so it stops. Right. And uh, I can't move a railcart. I'm not sure why you can't pick railcarts up. I think, I think that might be a small bug. I'm not sure. But um, anyway, so you're going to come along. You are empty and true. But that's going to turn red because the toggle is set to no. So it's going to carry on. We set it back the other way and uh, stop. Right, so if I manually toggle this to true and say uh, off you go, now that should go true and he'll go down there. You see, he's passed that there, that's toggled, that says now that's red, 
even though the, the inventory sensor said it was true, that has now turned red because that toggle overrides it. So that works. I'm not even sure whether I need that toggle to click on that. I think I do because this inventory trigger only toggles the toggle, not the ball function. That would need. Let's give that a try, shall we? Let's give that a try. Let's turn off. So the toggle only goes to the ball function. Okay, you'll leave. And uh, there we go. Right. Right, tell you to go away. Right, Th this is the issue that I think was happening um, last time. The point. Five is a little too quick, but the one second seemed a little slow. So unless I can actually force my carts to always be two seconds apart. quite sure how I can do that unless I build a proper timer rather than using the bridge system I actually build a a timer to separate them up um, that's too Yeah, see, sometimes it's just toggling it too early and the cart gets bounced back. The point 0.5 is going to be a little bit too quick for that there. So, I mean, I could try things like point 0.6 or so, but I, I think... Uh, oh, point 0.6. Um, question is whether that's going to actually be a feasible thing to do though this is oh oh why oh yes yeah yeah of course you would you turn right because you always turn right remove that you're definitely saying yes go down there that's working See, unfortunately, I can't put the agent trigger anywhere else. I can't, um... Toggle it to say, uh... Because you, you can, you can offset this and put it somewhere else, but, but there, I can't say go there, because then other trains that come along will toggle it as they drive past. Which is not what we want, at all. Uh, you can also change it to enter or exit, so there's a little bit of a delay, so it, it, it triggers when it leaves or when it ent enters the, the block. Realistically, I want it to tr toggle when it enters the block going that way and exits the block coming the other way. That's not possible, but... I think maybe just setting it to one second and then somewhere else having a one and a half second split on all my carts. The drawback is that this is going to be so clumped up, carts are going to come out and we are going to end up getting caught in places. I can see that happening. Um, eventually, like three carts are going to come out all really, really close together. And it's not a great deal I can do about that. I can't filter them. Down. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any way to actually filter it down so that it uh, does it. I'm guessing 0.6 is going to be the closest I can do. Uh, 
um, unless I want to expand this to make it even more complicated and have two agent triggers and uh, have one check whether it enters the block and no no that would that would just that would not work okay okay so so that works that that does work so we need to go to 0.6 seconds I suppose then and I suppose for conformity I should change all these um Six, uh, point, point six, not six, not six, six is way too slow. Point six. You can't type for some bizarre reason. Point six, point, point. Don't argue with me. Right, and uh, this needs to move as well. But yeah, that's 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 the general consensus. So um, I think I'm going to bring this episode to a close here. I will finish building the logic on each one of these here. Um, I won't do the filtering of the barns yet. I'll, I'll add that in in the next episode and show you what I mean by that. Um, because I don't know exactly how we're going to do this yet. I don't know what pastures are going to do what things. Um, uh, well, hold on. What do we need? What do we need? What do we need? Let's let's do this. Before I end the episode, let's do this. We need cheese and we need chicken. So the first two are going to be cheese and chicken. Okay. So you are going to be... Uh, chicken. I suppose. I should really just set them all in order, shouldn't I? We should just do them all in order or I'm going to complicate myself would make more sense put them all in order so I know it, 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 it does not matter it does not matter let's let's just do this one here so this wants to be milk because milk becomes cheese and we want chicken as well so we'll do it milk and uh, you know what I am in fact going to do them all in order beef um, leather Yes. Really think leather should be an offshoot of beef. Really think when when you when the, the, the it should be beef and leather. I get why it's separated to make life easier, but you don't just kill an animal for it. Well, you're not supposed to just kill an animal for a uh, one thing, but um. We've been doing that for quite a while, actually, so uh, maybe I should ignore that. Um, yeah, there are places where I suppose they just uh, do it for their leather and nothing else. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, in, does leather even come from cows? I think. Does le I don't know. Don't know. Animal skin. It might not just be cow. I don't know. Um, let's not get into that debate, shall we? <laughs> uh, right. So, bye bye. There we go. Okay. Um, it doesn't matter that they're allowed to turn left here because they never will. They would always turn right. Could change that so they're only allowed to turn right. I'm not going to bother until we have problems. So, um, yeah. So, right. So, you are producing milk. Okay. The milk has to go somewhere else. So, yeah, I, I will. I will actually bring that to a close and we'll, we'll do the next episode because I also need to set the uh, animal feed supply up and everything as well. So, Yeah, although the supplies are quite easy, we just literally go bump, 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 and bump, and uh, all that. And we go you to timer, timer to toggle, toggle to that, okay? And you are going to be filtered to animal feed, okay? At 0.6. How many cut animal feed will go down there, turn around, empty out, come back in become an empty car and then potentially pick up the next one and go all around, drop it off, come back again, pick up the animal feed. Yeah. I may have to have some filters out here, um, as in like a couple of train, a couple of connecting tracks, saying for instance like um, No, maybe not. 
I'm just thinking that I've got the pickups here for the pastures. We've got the drop off will be down here for a lot of them. And in between, we've got the animal feed, which could cause a problem. Because potentially the carts could come out, like I just said there, could drop off the animal feed, could come out, pick up uh, whatever this will be. This will be uh, beef, and then go all the way around, skipping over the animal feed and the flour to drop off the beef. Then they become empty again, and when they go back around again, they'll be doing the next things. So I may have to have the odd interconnecting thing. Um, I'm not sure about that. I'm really not sure. We'll figure that out in the next episode. Um, anyway, so uh, that's where we shall bring this one to a close. It's a bit of a mess and it's not working currently, but um, it's a work in progress. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I hope to see you again next time. And uh, until then, as always, have fun. <laughs>